Hello and welcome back to another video on 3D drawing for your model railway. On today's lesson, we're going to look at how to do a two-sided extrusion and how to add text to a flat surface. To apply those new tools, we're going to design a steam era station running inboard. So first thing we're going to do is create a new sketch. And we're going to create it on the bottom plane. We're going to use the center point rectangle. And I'm going to have that uh, one millimeter thick. And I'm going to go to a nice long one at 50 millimeters. Sounds quite long, but you'll see why in a minute. Okay, we're going to extrude now that to a height of four millimeters and then we're going to put an, another drawing on the front face using again the center point rectangle going to find that midpoint again going to extrude that out and then i'm going to give it a sketch dimension one millimeter at the top and bottom and the same at the sides and then I'm going to extrude and cut away that middle bit I'm going to extrude that by minus 0 0.5 millimeters Okay, so now we've got the basic um, station name board. I'm going to add in the poles to hold it up. So when we're printing in 3D, what we've got to do when we design things is make sure that they're all attached so the printer can actually deal with them. So we're going to create a sketch on the top surface. I'm going to use our center point um, circle again. I'm going to put the center point on the back surface of the running in board and I'm going to create a diameter of one millimeter. I'm going to put a distance from the end points as two millimeters. I'm going to do the same on the other side. One millimeter in diameter and distance of two millimeters. Okay now I'm going to put two more in the middle same again, one millimeter in diameter, distanced. I'm going to go for 16 millimeters. Uh, and up on this side, extrusion length, 16 millimeters. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to select those surfaces. So if we zoom in, we'll select all of them. So holding down shift as we do this. And I'm going to right click, extrude. Okay, so the new, new tool we're using today within the extrusion is to do two-sided extrusion. Okay, so we're going to extrude downwards to give it its feet. We're going to give it a join and we're going to define that as 10 millimeters. We're going to extrude upwards by one millimeters. So you can see how the top extrusion is coming upwards and the bottom is coming downwards. So last lesson we were using symmetrical, now we're using two sided so we can have a, a different distance on each end. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is add text into this center face here. Now, there's a couple of ways to add text. We're just dealing with it on a flat surface to start with. So we're going to create a sketch on the inner surface. Wait for the PC to catch up and then select text. And I'm going to draw a text box in the middle. I'm going to change that height of the text down to one millimeter. 
and my text for my station name. Okay, I'm going to actually edit that. Go back into I'm going to center it so the text is in the middle. And I'm going to change the typeface to bold. Okay, and then what we're going to do is zoom in. You can see as I hover over the text, it changes color. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to do press and pull, which is very similar to the extrusion. Okay, so I'm going to press and pull that text. I'm going to just pull that out by 0.5 millimeters. takes a little bit of time to compute because there's quite a lot of surfaces and edges there. As you can see there we've got our station name. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Please like and subscribe.